What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we have more Madden 22 ratings on the new on the database, right? So today we actually have some tight ends added, some more 99 club reveals guys. There's a bunch of stuff to go over here. As you guys know, we had Aaron Donald yesterday. We have Devontae Adams there as of yesterday as well. We got Kelsey as one of the new ones. I'll go through all the new guys that were added as we move through, go through this. So I'll probably filter through tight ends to start so we can go through the new tight ends that were added. Now, there's going to be plenty more players, guys. Maybe we get some running backs tomorrow, which would be super cool because, of course, I'm a big franchise guy, so I will definitely enjoy seeing some of the new overall ratings. Uh, is it just me or am I not seeing tight end? Okay, I had a feeling I couldn't see it on my screen. There we go. So let's go to the new tight ends. So now we're going to start here with Kelsey, who is the first guy, and I don't I don't see anyone else. So that was strange. Uh, the filters don't work. They're there. The filters just don't work. That's good. So Travis Kelsey, let's start with him. 86 speed. 89 excel which actually the speed's really good for kelsey because considering tight ends don't really get much love with speed in madden in general i mean i think Kel kelsey's pretty fast in real life but again when you're that big i mean you're not the fastest guy on the field but kelsey's still pretty fast for a tight end 86 speed with the 96 catching and of course gonna have some pretty crazy stats all around the board 78 trucking is not bad uh 91 ball carry vision 84 stiff 83 juke not gonna be the best of the ball hands. gonna be your stereotypical uh, flag route, post route, out route type of tight end, slant, quick drag. Uh, you know, he's not going to be running crazy RPOs with you. You're not going to be doing anything crazy with him. But Travis Kelsey going to be one of the most sure-handed players in the game. Moving on down, we got George Kittle with an 88 speed. So he is faster than um, Kelsey. I'd argue that he's actually more faster than Kelsey. I'd argue that he's an 89 at minimum. Uh, gets the 89, of course, on the acceleration. And then for his catching, he's going to have an 88 and an awareness 94 we're not gonna go through all of them of course because i'll just take forever next guys we have moving on down uh where is it where's the next one jesus darren waller 93 overall 90 speed for waller now that's actually really cool because waller i believe did start with a 90 sp uh i think waller might have started with like an 88 89 last year i could be wrong i think now that he's a 90 that does mean that he can get up to like a 92 in a franchise which makes him even one makes him one of the craziest tight ends in the game I'd argue that Waller is the best tight end in terms of Madden, uh, just because of the speed. He's six foot six with that speed, and his catching, I believe, is a 97, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's he's crazy. Darren Waller is an absolute beast in this game. You cannot go wrong having Darren Waller in teams. And then Mud, of course, it's just, it's like of course. So Mud's not gonna have these stats, but it's gonna emulate these stats as good as they as best as they can. So pretty much, if he has, if he's the fastest tight end here, his base gold may not have a 90, may only have an 83, but he'll be the fastest tight end on Madden on ultimate team right so keep that in mind as we move on down and see who else we got moving on down for the tight ends mark andrews coming in as the fourth best tight end with an 86 speed 90 excel so he's pretty much baby kelsey right that's pretty much what he's been mad and like kelsey's 99 you know up there and then mark andrews is going to be the stereotypical like 10 points lower he's going to be the same speed usually same speed the same excel if not a little bit better and then slightly worse everything else but he's gonna be very similar to that travis kelsey build even has the same haircut as him but yeah, Mark Andrews is going to be pretty good. Hunter Henry with an 87. Now, I feel like that's a pretty high rating for Hunter Henry, in my personal opinion, with all the injuries and stuff he's dealt with. Uh, but nonetheless, he still has some pretty good pretty good ratings, I guess. 82 speed is a little bit too low for my liking. Will be a good second tight end, uh, perhaps. I don't think he'd be a good first tight end. And of course, in Muddy's going to be way too slow year round. Austin Hooper with the fifth best rating, sixth best rating. Um, 81 speed, 87 excel, way too slow for my liking. Kind of in the Hunter Henry esque uh, build where they're going to be very slow. Short handed guys, right? That's going to be the case with them. But I don't think they're that great. Rob Gronkowski, same thing with the 80 speed and 85 excel, way too slow. The one thing I'll give Gronk though uh, is that he is a great run blocker. So he's probably going to have a really good run block for Madden. So, again, he's still usable as a second head end, even as not a receiving guy, just the guy you put as a blocker. Mike Jasicki, 83 speed, 86 excel. A little bit, same build. Like, they're all the same. If you don't have above an 85 speed at head end, I'm really probably not going to be using you. Uh, Mike Jasicki, not all that great. TJ Hawkinson, again. Again, I, this is a problem. If you're not Kelsey, I mean, honestly, if you're not Waller, Kelsey, Engram, or Andrews, you're really not all that usable. On Kittle, you're not that usable with head end. Those five right there are pretty much the go to the tight end situation. TJ Hawkinson at least is going to be a little bit better in terms of Excel and speed overall. But still, I mean, Jasicki and Hawkinson are maybe the cutoff. Like, I can maybe use them, but I wouldn't aim for them. Dallas Goddard, 83 speed, 87 Excel. Again, they build these tight ends all the same. And I think they're a bit faster than that. Because you have to realize, right? Yes, Tyree kills 99 speed. But I wouldn't say that, like, uh, Mike Jasicki or Hunter Henry are that much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
when you're playing in madden tyreek hill these guys are game breaking it's almost impossible to use an 82 speed tight ends what i'm trying to say right now they're close but there's all these game breaking players like, yeah i don't expect tight ends to break the game but in in madden right i'm deandre hopkins at a 90 speed is slow like he's not gonna outrun too many people he's gonna be caught up by many defenders pursuit angles are crazy so imagine giving someone an 82 speed pr pretty much they just catch the ball and that's it tight ends can run with the ball and make some plays and that's just my personal opinion with it uh, I, th I think i think they should at least be a little bit like 84 like maybe gronk could be an 82 like gronk's not that slow but moving on let's see what else we got if there's any more tight ends in here maybe evan ingram no we didn't make the list we finished the 10 so that's going to be the 10 tight ends right there now guys remember there's going to be kyle pitts I, i'm really interested to, uh, to see kyle pitts stats and everything but again he's not in the top 10 uh he's probably gonna be like a 78 overall maybe an, he actually might be the highest rated one he might be an 80 but that's not gonna make it top 10 because of course the final tight end is going to be an 84 so i think that for him he might be an 81 he might be he's probably gonna be anywhere between the uh, i'd say 80 to 82 so he's not gonna make the list but of course we'll probably see him when the full database is revealed they're gonna do top 10 for each one and then they will go ahead and probably reveal the full database that's typically how they always end up doing it but yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys i mean hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know your favorite tight end down below if i had to pick it's gonna be waller hands down now again i wouldn't be opposed to using engram in, in let's say in sort of a franchise i'd use engram and just develop him up in terms of ultimate team waller is gonna probably be better than engram almost all year unless daniel jones has a big step up and somehow engram stays healthy and can catch and all the right pieces fall but otherwise waller is gonna have the up uh, the upper hand on almost every tight end for the rest of the year i mean first off he's like he's either the tallest or tied for the tallest at six foot six He'll be the fastest the tallest and he has great hands you can't go wrong with waller he's just crazy and of course he's a crazy red zone throwing six foot six so he's also not even like not even like he's one of those six foot one or like engram's not exactly the tallest like he's one of the smaller tight ends you could be like you know okay well that's why he's so fast like waller's just a crazy animal but nonetheless guys enjoy the rest of your day hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and bell and of course guys we have under about two weeks i'd say or exactly two weeks ish i think a little under until madden 22 is officially out on ea access for early access so guys we have a lot of stuff to do start coming back start getting hyped for the new madden thank you for watching i'm out peace